Old French, Wikipedia article audio. Old French was the language spoken in northern France from the 8th century to the 14th century. In the 14th century, these dialects came to be collectively known as the Langue d'Oil, contrasting with the Langue d'Oc or Occitan language in the south of France. The mid-14th century is taken as the transitional period to Middle French, the language of the French Renaissance, specifically based on the dialect of the Isle de France region. Aerial and Dialectal Divisions History Evolution from Vulgar Latin Non-Latin Influences Gaulish Frankish Earliest written Old French Transition to Middle French Literature Phonology Consonants Vowels Monophthongs Diphthongs and triphthongs Hiatus Grammar Nouns Adjectives Verbs Verb alternations Example of regular ER verb, dur Example of regular IR verb, phanir Example of regular reverb, core Examples of auxiliary verbs Avouar Esther the place and area where Old French was spoken natively roughly extended to the historical Kingdom of France and its vassals, and Burgundy, Lorraine and Savoy to the east, but the influence of Old French was much wider, as it was carried to England, Sicily and the Crusader states as the language of a feudal elite and of commerce. Other Parts of Speech the aerial of Old French in contemporary terms corresponded to the northern parts of the Kingdom of France, Upper Burgundy and the Duchy of Lorraine. The Norman dialect was also spread to England and Ireland, and during the Crusades, Old French was also spoken in the Kingdom of Sicily, and in the Principality of Antioch and the Kingdom of Jerusalem in the Levant. Other Sources as part of the emerging Gallo-Romance dialect continuum, the Longs d'Oil were contrasted with the Long d'Oc, adjacent to the Old French area in the southwest, and with the Gallo-Italic group to the southeast. The Franco-Provençal group developed in Upper Burgundy, sharing features with both French and Provençal, it may have begun to diverge from the Long d'Oil as early as the 9th century and is attested as a distinct Gallo-Romance variety by the 12th century. Dialects or variants of Old French included Some modern languages are derived from Old French dialects other than Classical French, which is based on the Isle de France dialect. They include Angevin, Berichon, Bourguignon Morvandio, Champenois, Franc Comtois, Gallo, Lorraine, Norman, Picard, Poitavin, Saint Tunja, and Walloon. Beginning with Plautus's time, classical Latin's phonological structure changed, eventually yielding Vulgar Latin, the common spoken language of the Western Roman Empire. This latter form differed strongly from its classical counterpart in phonology and morphology as well as exhibiting differences in lexicon, it was the ancestor of the Romance languages, including Old French. Some Gaulish words influenced Vulgar Latin and, through this, other Romance languages. For example, Classical Latin equus was uniformly replaced in Vulgar Latin by Cabalus nag, workhorse, derived from Gaulish Cabalos giving modern French cheval, Occitan caval, Catalan caval, Spanish caballo, Portuguese cavallo, Italian cavallo, Romanian cal, and, by extension, 
English cavalry. An estimated 200 words of Gaulish etymology survive in modern French, for example chain oak tree and charu plow. Despite attempts to explain some phonetic changes being caused by a Gaulish substrate, only one of them is certain, because this fact is clearly attested in the Gaulish language epigraphy on the pottery found at La Graufzink. There, the Greek word paropsidias appears as paroxidi. The consonant clusters slash ps slash n slash pt slash shifted to slash xs slash n slash xt slash, e.g. Latin capsa asterisk caxacus or captvus asterisk caxtivus of chatif. This phonetic evolution is parallel to the shift of the Latin cluster slash kt slash in Old French. The pronunciation, vocabulary, and syntax of the vulgar Latin spoken in Roman Gaul in late antiquity was modified by the Old Frankish language, spoken by the Franks who settled in Gaul from the 5th century and conquered the entire Old French-speaking area by the 530s. The name France itself is derived from the name the Franks. The Old Frankish language had a definitive influence on the development of Old French, which partly explains why the earliest attested Old French documents are older than the earliest attestations in other Romance languages. It is the result of an earlier gap created between Classical Latin and its evolved forms, which slowly reduced and eventually severed the intercomprehensibility between the two. The old Low Franconian influence is also believed to be responsible for the differences between the Long Dioil and the Long Doc, being that various parts of northern France remained bilingual between Latin and Germanic for some time, and these areas correspond precisely to where the first documents in Old French were written. This Germanic language shaped the popular Latin spoken here and gave it a very distinctive identity compared to the other future Romance languages. The very first noticeable influence is the substitution of the Latin melodic accent by a Germanic stress and its result was diphthongization, differentiation between long and short vowels, the fall of the unaccented syllable and of the final vowels. Additionally, Two phonemes that had long since died out in vulgar Latin were reintroduced, and, O-N-F-W-C-F, Picard W. On the opposite, the Italian, Portuguese and Spanish words of Germanic origin borrowed from French or directly from Germanic retain slash gw slash slash g slash, e.g. it, sp guerra war alongside slash g slash in French guerre. In these examples, we notice a clear consequence of bilingualism, that sometimes even changed the first syllable of the Latin words. One example of a Latin word influencing an old low Franconian loan is from Bois Raspberry, from a Frambees, from Olf asterisk Brembasi Blackberry blended with LL Fraga or a Fray Strawberry which explains the replacement and in turn the final se of from was added to a fray to make fries, modern phrase. Pope estimated that perhaps still 15% of the vocabulary of modern French derives from Germanic sources. At the Third Council of Tours in 813, priests were ordered to preach in the vernacular language since the common people could no longer understand formal Latin. The earliest documents said to be written in the Gallo-Romance that presages French after the Rikana and Castle glosses are the Oaths of Strasbourg. Pro Deo Amor et Pro Christian Pablo et Nostro Commun Solvament, Dies en Avant, in Quant Dies Saver et Poder Me Dunit, S.I. Salvare eo sist me in Fredra Carlo, et in Aiudha et in Cadhuna Cosa. The second oldest document in Old French is the Eulalia sequence, which is important for linguistic reconstruction of Old French pronunciation due to its consistent spelling.
The Royal House of Capet, founded by Hugh Capet in 987, inaugurated the development of northern French culture in and around Isle de France, which slowly but firmly asserted its ascendancy over the more southerly areas of Aquitaine and Tolosa. The Cape Tien's Long d'Oil, the forerunner of modern standard French, did not begin to become the common speech of all of France, however, until after the French Revolution. In the late Middle Ages, the old French dialects diverged into a number of distinct langues d'oil, among which Middle French proper was the dialect of the Isle de France region. During the early modern period, French now becomes established as the official language of the Kingdom of France throughout the realm, also including the long doc speaking territories in the south. It was only in the 17th to 18th centuries with the development especially of popular literature of the Bibliothèque Bleuie that a standardized classical French spread throughout France alongside the regional dialects. The material and cultural conditions in France and associated territories around the year 1100 triggered what Charles Homer Haskins termed the Renaissance of the 12th century, resulting in a profusion of creative works in a variety of genres. Old French gives way to Middle French in the mid-14th century, paving the way for early French Renaissance literature of the 15th century. The earliest extant French literary texts date from the 9th century, but very few texts before the 11th century have survived. The first literary works written in Old French were Saints' Lives. The Canticle of Saint Eulalie, written in the second half of the 9th century, is generally accepted as the first such text. At the beginning of the 13th century, Jean Baudel, in his Chanson de Saisons, divided medieval French narrative literature into three subject areas, the matter of France or matter of Charlemagne, the matter of Rome, and the matter of Britain. The first of these is the subject area of the Chansons de Geste Deeds, epic poems typically composed in ten-syllable assonanced lesses. More than 100 chansons de geste have survived in around 300 manuscripts. The oldest and most celebrated of the chansons de geste is the Song of Roland. Bertrand de Barcerobe and his Girard de Vienne set out a grouping of the chansons de geste into three cycles, the geste du roi centering on Charlemagne, the geste de Guerin de Monglaine, and the Geste de Dune de Mayence or the Rebel Vassal Cycle, the most famous characters of which were Renaud de Montauban and Girard de Roussillon. A fourth grouping, not listed by Bertrand, is the Crusade Cycle, dealing with the First Crusade and its immediate aftermath. Jean Baudel's other two categories The Matter of Rome and The Matter of Britain concern the French Romance or Roman. Around a hundred verse romances survive from the period 1150-1220. From around 1200 on, the tendency was increasingly to write the romances in prose, although new verse romances continued to be written to the end of the 14th century. The most important romance of the 13th century is the Romance of the Rose which breaks considerably from the conventions of the chivalric adventure story. Medieval French lyric poetry was indebted to the poetic and cultural traditions in southern France and Provence including Toulouse, Poitiers and the Aquitaine region where Long D.O.C. was spoken. In their turn, the Provençal poets were greatly influenced by poetic traditions from the Hispano-Arab world. The Occitan or Provençal poets were called troubadours, from the word trabar to find, to invent. Lyric poets in Old French are called trouvères. By the late 13th century, the poetic tradition in France had begun to develop in ways that differed significantly from the troubadour poets, both in content and in the use of certain fixed forms. 
The new poetic tendencies are apparent in the Roman de Favel in 1310 and 1314, a satire on abuses in the medieval church, filled with medieval motets, lays, rondos and other new secular forms of poetry and music. The best-known poet and composer of Ars Nova secular music and chansons of the incipient Middle French period was Guillaume de Macotte. Discussions about the origins of non-religious theatre both drama and farce in the Middle Ages remain controversial, but the idea of a continuous popular tradition stemming from Latin comedy and tragedy to the 9th century seems unlikely. Most historians place the origin of medieval drama in the church's liturgical dialogues and tropes. Mystery plays were eventually transferred from the monastery church to the chapter house or refectory hall and finally to the open air, and the vernacular was substituted for Latin. In the 12th century one finds the earliest extant passages in French appearing as refrains inserted into liturgical dramas in Latin, such as a St. Nicholas play and a St. Stephen play. An early French dramatic play is Le Jeu d'Adam written in octosyllabic rhymed couplets with Latin stage directions. Burgundian in Burgundy, then an independent duchy whose capital was at Dijon, Picard of Picardy, whose principal cities were Calais and Lille. It was said that the Picard language began at the east door of Notre Dame de Paris, so far reaching was its influence. Old Norman, in Normandy, whose principal cities were Seine and Rouen. The Norman conquest of England brought many Norman-speaking aristocrats into the British Isles. Most of the older Norman words in English reflect its influence, which became a conduit for the introduction into the Anglo-Norman realm, as did Anglo-Norman control of Anjou and Gascony and other continental possessions. Anglo-Norman was a language that reflected a shared culture on both sides of the English Channel. Ultimately, the language declined and fell, becoming Law French, a jargon spoken by lawyers that was used in English law until the reign of Charles II of England. Norman, however, still survives in Normandy and the Channel Islands, as a regional language, Wallon, around Namur now in Wallonia, Belgium, Gallo of the Duchy of Brittany, Lorraine of the Duchy of Lorraine. Latin decimus, a tenth of dime f dime tenth, vl dignitate of dinti, vl catena of chine, vl altu of halt high, l vespa f quippi, picard wape, wallen wes, all wasp, l viscus f gui mistletoe, LL Volpicula Fox Kit of Golpilts, Picard Waupel Fox. All obstruents were subject to word final devo icing, which was usually indicated in the orthography, the affricate slash ts slash, slash dz slash, slash t slash, slash d slash became fricatives in Middle French slash. TS slash had three spellings C before E or I, C before other vowels, or Z at the end of a word as seen in C and, Chan C on, PRIZ slash. DZ slash was written as Z, as in do ZE12, and did not occur word initially. Slash O slash had formerly existed but closed to slash U slash. The original Western romance slash U slash having previously been fronted to slash Y slash across most of what is now France and Northern Italy slash O slash would later appear again when slash A slash monophthongized and also when slash slash closed in certain positions slash O slash may have similarly been closed to slash slash, in at least in some dialects since it was borrowed into Middle English as slash un slash slash and slash. In any case, traces of such a change were erased in later stages of French, when the close nasal vowels slash o slash were opened to become slash oe slash.
In early Old French, the spelling AI represented a diphthong slash AJ slash instead of the later monophthong slash slash, and EI represented the diphthong slash EJ slash, which merged with slash OJ slash in late Old French. In early Old French, the diphthongs described above as rising may have been falling diphthongs. In earlier works with vowel assonance, the diphthong written IE did not assonate with any pure vowels, which suggests that it cannot have simply been slash JE slash dot. The pronunciation of the vowels written UE and EU is debated. In the first records of early Old French, they represented and were written as slash UO slash, slash OU slash, and by Middle French, they had both merged as slash OE slash but the transitional pronunciations are unclear. Early Old French had additional triphthongs slash each slash and slash uaj slash. These soon merged into slash i slash and slash i slash respectively. The diphthong iu was rare and had merged into ui by Middle French. Latin auditor of war slash oir slash here. Vulgar Latin asterisk viidtum of view slash vy slash scene. Latin renum of rain slash rn slash queen, Latin pensum of pays slash pa is slash country, Latin augustum of ast slash aust slash august, Latin patellum of pael slash pael slash pan, late Latin quaternum of k or slash quaja slash booklet, choir, late Latin edicum of edge, eek slash a ad slash slash ad slash age. Both OFR Le Sire, Le Sire, and Le Senor Latin S. E. Nier, C. Nirem survive in the vocabulary of later French as different ways to refer to a feudal lord. Modern French Soer Sister is the nominative form. The Old French oblique form Sire no longer survives. Modern French Preacher Priest is the nominative form. The Old French oblique form Prevoir. Later Provoir survives only in the Paris street name Rue des Prouvaires. Modern French indefinite pronoun on one continues Old French. Nominative Hom Man. Hom Man continues the oblique form. Class I corresponding roughly to Latin 1 st and second declension adjectives. Class II corresponding roughly to Latin third declension adjectives. Class three containing primarily the descendants of Latin synthetic comparative forms in I or I rem. The alternation J E left two leaves is a regular result of the final devo icing triggered by loss of final slash o slash but not slash a slash dot. The alternation laver two leaves is a regular result of the diphthongization of a stressed open syllable slash a slash into slash a e slash slash a e slash slash e slash dot. The alternation j e left to lay i l let in the subjunctive is a regular result of the simplification of the final clusters slash f s slash n slash foot slash, resulting from loss of slash e slash in final syllables. JIU slash ADIR help Western romance slash disjejunaire slash disjejunaire slash slash desinaire slash slash disinaire slash slash disna slash. Both stems have become full verbs in modern French dejeuner to have lunch and diner to dine. Furthermore, dejeuner does not derive directly from JE desjun n, with total loss of unstressed i dash. Instead, it comes from Old French disjeuner, based on the alternative form je disjeun n, with loss of only i, likely influenced by jeuner to fast. Non-finite forms Auxiliary verb, avouar Non-finite forms Auxiliary verb, avouar Non-finite forms Auxiliary verb, ester. Non-finite forms. Auxiliary verb, avouar. Non-finite forms. Auxiliary verb, avouar. 
Adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections are generally invariable, one notable exception being the adverb tot, like modern French tout, all, every.